Oh, check this out. Computer surgery in the street. We had a brownout. Now, during a brownout, your computer has a tendency to overheat, of all things. You wouldn't think that, but it's overheat. We have fans that run all the time. I felt the fans and saw the fans. Huh. And saw the fans actually slow down and I knew there was a brownout, but I didn't get a chance to shut my computer off. And I heard it pop inside. What happened was the CPU and this is what I think, what I think, the CPU had gotten so hot that it allowed the mount to break. This little Bakelite mount that holds the, holds the, the, uh, the fan to the motherboard, this one broke. This one broke. And I can't get another one around here. They just don't have them. They just, well, you can get a motherboard, but they don't sell the piece individually. So what I did is I put it together with a super glue, it's a multi-temperature or high temperature super glue and an epoxy. And it's a high temperature epoxy. And I put my pieces back together with plenty, oh my god, look at that. With plenty of room to spare where I can trim off around my bolt holes in that and it should hold the piece together if I can be patient and let it dry long enough. It says wait 24 hours, but my God, do I have a hard time going 24 hours without my computer. But that's why you haven't seen any video update. I actually did post a video, but it was an old one with nothing newer. And this explains the reason my computer died. I'm pretty sure as ugly as this looks, it looks ugly with all that epoxy on there, but I don't care about ugly if it works. The holes in things are made for another mount, and my mount doesn't use those holes. It uses only this piece here and this piece here. So I can fill that all in so long as I leave my holes clear to put my mounting screws in. So we'll see how this, so we'll see how this works. We'll see how it works. It actually, the, the crazy glue alone may have held it. But it's not really crazy glue. They call it some extreme bond or something. It's a, it's a Filipino brand of uh, crazy glue. It may have held it by itself. But I figured I would fill in some of these gaps. And put some extra layers on the side here to try to add to the uh, reinforcement of the piece. And then when it's all dry, I'll come back with a knife and I'll trim up around my holes. And uh, I really don't care if it looks beautiful. That's not the name of the game. The name of the game is get the computer going right now. And I see another motherboard in my future anyway. This is a, a two core. And my, uh, God, but my motherboard could take a four core. But I think I just get another motherboard and crank everything up a notch. I do a lot of AI stuff and uh, I overload the heck out of my computer to try to deal with things. I actually use some computers online at a co I think it's CoLab or something that uh, Google has. You can actually use GPUs online inside of your Jupyter notebook, which is actually pretty neat. Anyway, this is it. <laughs> he saw the camera did a wheelie back there, but I missed it. I looked up and I saw him waving and he did a wheelie right here. This is the Philippines, by the way, you guys. It's the Philippines. It's a little store across the street. This is where Myra has her food stand in the uh, morning and in the evening. And she has clothes over on this side here. And it's neat, it's neat. I love it here. I love it here.
video. Oh, look, put the ca put the umbrella down. Sometimes that umbrella goes high with a big smile. <laughs> So here you are, this is the Philippines. This is my, uh, this is where I live at. This is my house. And I hope I get my computer going, get some more um, gum stuff out there. I think I may have found, oh my god, and I passed a hundred, I passed a hundred subscribers. Today, I just hit, no I didn't pass, I just hit a hundred today. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty thrilled. It took a long haul. Actually, I shouldn't say it took a long haul. It took me about a month to get a hundred. And uh, although that seems like a long time to me, because it used to be you could do that. Uh, my other channel gets that many on its own without even thinking about it. It just growing. Once the channel gets established, it grows on its own. My other channel talks about my life here. It shows the different little businesses, people that run the businesses. So it's kind of an entertaining thing. It's, uh, the name is Mad Hatter Stamps, which is a weird name for a Philippine life channel. But it started out a craft channel. I was doing crafts in the United States. Then I moved over here. I actually made just a couple videos to show that my sister, my sister and my daughter, that uh, I was going to be okay and what it was like and what, what everything was like here. And the channel took off. Jesus. That seven years ago, I was one of the pioneers of the uh, Philippine blogs, I think, because there were not many out there at all when I started. Now they're all over the place. But way back then to start a channel was duck soup easy. It was just unbelievable. But that channel has uh, almost 900 videos on it. So run over and take a look. Enjoy it. Okay, so. And, and look, at and this is, this is Darwin hiding. <laughs> Myra's, Myra's son. Okay, everybody. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day and wish me luck with this uh, high-tech repair job I did in the street. <laughs>